Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you a ping identity tutorial for beginners. Now this video will have everything you need to know about ping identity, especially if you're a beginner, and how you can use it for your business. So without further ado, let's dive right into their website. So here we have the dashboard for a ping identity trial. You can just search this in your browser and you should be able to see this on the top few results. Then just sign up for an account right here. If you already have one, then you can already sign on or you can try ping for a trial account. You can also get a bunch of info from just browsing through their website right here in case you want to learn more about ping identity. All right, so once you're done setting up your account, which of course will require you to you uh, to choose your primary use case. So this can either be single sign-on or SSO for seamless login experiences or multi-factor authentication to enhance login security as well as API security for securing API access. After that, you also have to configure your single sign-on with Ping Federate, which will require you to install Ping Federate and set up identity providers set up service providers, create SSO connections, and then test SSO. For enabling multi-factor authentication with ping ID, you're going to have to activate ping ID. So this will require you to log in to ping one admin console and enable ping ID for your organization. To set up MFA methods, you need to add supported authentication methods like SMS, email, mobile apps, or biometric authentication, in which case this trial in this trial, I made use of an email authentication and you can also enroll users. So just send enrollment requests to users and users can download the Ping ID app and complete this setup. To test the MFA, just log in with SSO and verify the second authentication step. Now, lastly, for secure APIs with Ping Access, you can install Ping Access and then define API policies, which will require you to set up rules to manage who can access specific APIs and then integrate with Ping, Ping Federate so you can use Ping Federate to authenticate API users. All right, so before we get started, Ping Identity is an identity and access management platform that provides solutions for secure and seamless digital identity management. It helps organizations enable single sign-on, multi-factor authentication, API security, and more. All right, so here you can either get started with creating an environment or manage administrators. So we're going to try to show you how it looks to create an environment. So here, just select the type of identity solution you want to design. So for customer solution, I need to design identity experiences for my customers, and I want to quickly design and test these experiences myself. For workforce solution, I need to design identity experiences for my employees, partners, and vendors, as well as I want to quickly design and test these sign-on experiences myself. So feel free to choose which one you'd like to try. But for this example, we're gonna go with customer solution. And then here you can tailor your experiences. So you can tailor your identity experiences for your industry or skip this step to design experiences that can be used in any industry. So again, if you don't choose a specific industry here, then you can just have a general customer experience, which will cater to any industry. So for this example, we're gonna go with, let's say retail, and we're just gonna allow Ping to create a customer solution environment for us. All right. So here we're gonna have our sandbox in Ping identity. We're just going to let Ping finish this up. The environment will be available momentarily. The same applies with uh, choosing the workforce solution. Basically, Ping Identity is going to help us generate that environment so that we can try it out in our uh, trial account. All right, so now we have our customer solution environment ready. Before we get started, let's take a quick tour. 
Here you can design and test identity experiences for your customers. And then you can use your sample app to test the end user experience in real time. And then here you can customize the experience and learn about capabilities in the administrative console. And then here under orchestrate and integrate, you can learn about Ping1 DaVinci and how orchestration drastically reduces the time to create these end user experiences. All right, so I believe that's all for that mini tour. So here you can design a solution and then uh, we can interact with our sample app here, or you can open it in a new tab for a real website experience. But we're going to try this out first just to see if it's functional. Don't think it's responding. Let's try opening it on a new tab right here. Just going to let this load up. And here we have that sample site. So let's check out. All right, so right now it just highlights whenever we hover on the options, but currently not all buttons are responding. Therefore, I believe it's because we need to uh, fix these buttons first so that they will be functional. However, if you click on sign on right here, you can see that the page responds with an actual sign on prompt. So that's good. Let's check account recovery it's also functioning well so this is the cart i'm assuming and this is for location let's see if these buttons work not yet so you just need to link a specific action that will serve as the response to the trigger of clicking these buttons all right so that's where uh this process is gonna step right in for us so for registration here you can start by specifying the registration experience new users will have when they sign up for your application or service so uh, you can actually modify the entire process so that you can uh, create a full experience with the website can also offer passwordless or require passwordless depending on your preference you can also select the passwordless options you would like to make available right here so feel free to edit this to your preference it's going to move forward here specify the type of information that you want your users to be able to update themselves and then account cover account recovery so that's going to be for the customer solution Sign up and then sign in on the sample application and test the experience you just designed. If you don't like it, then you can change it anytime. Sign up as a new user to experience the registration process that you just designed. Let's try this. All right, so invalid. Of course, we don't have an account under PX Retail. Uh, let's try to actually register. With that same email. Create account and then password. Must not be empty or contain white space. So we're going to create our own. All right, let's see if this works, and it actually does. So we send a verification code to your email address, verify your email to finish creating your account. All right, so as you can see, the 
site is fully functional and it actually sent us a verification code to test things out. So that's how you try out their customer solution environment. Uh, the same thing applies to, again, when you try out their workforce solution environment. So it's very similar and you'll get a similar experience. Of course, you can tailor it to your satisfaction. Just configure it right over here so that everything will be fully functional. And that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.